Hello, it's Corey. It is Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. And apologies, I haven't been live in a long time because actually what this live is about is getting into a bias towards action. So I've been in the last couple of weeks too much analysis about what do I go live about? What do I talk about? What if I have nothing to say? What if no one's there? And so I haven't gone live and I actually really enjoy going live and it's fun and so I decided I'm just gonna go live and whatever comes up comes up and if no one's there no one's there but I'm gonna stop analyzing the heck out of it and get into action so this is gonna be a short live because it is really cold <laughs> I'm bundled up but and even though it's sunny it actually is a little bit brisk out so this won't be a long one and a couple of things I wanted to share that I've been working on the last couple of weeks one thing obviously is this bias towards action and I did share recently in one of my newsletters and I'm sure you've all heard most of you have heard the book the five second rule which is the minute you get an inclination or a nudge or an urge or the strike of intuition to do something um, the author Mel Robbins suggests count down from five and then when you get to one go do it because you all know the more we think about something, the less we will actually take action on it. And we'll just keep procrastinating, thinking of reasons why we shouldn't do it, what will happen, all our fears and excuses and reasons come up for why we shouldn't do it, and so then we don't do it. And it could be something that actually really propels us forward. And it doesn't have to be something big, like today, it was just getting myself out to go for a walk, to mix up, um, getting away from the computer, I've been designing a new workshop, and so I just needed to get up and move around and shift my perspective so that's one thing and the other thing kind of tied to the reasons I think that we default into analysis is the idea of fear and so another activity I've done recently which I will continue to do and I've done in the past before but it resurfaced in a new book I'm reading called write for your life w i sorry w r i t e and the activity is to write down all the reasons that you're afraid of doing whatever it is you want to do. So his, this book is actually um, centered around writing a book, but you could do it on anything. It could be on, I'm afraid if I start my own business that I will fail. I'm afraid if I write a book, no one will read it. I'm afraid if I sign up for a dance class, I will look like a fool. I'm afraid if I talk to that person, they'll ignore me. I'm afraid if I put something out there, people will... Um, reject me whatever it is I mean pick one topic and then keep writing on that same topic so if it is starting a business if it's getting in shape if it's putting yourself out there if it's um, writing a book whatever it is and then write down all the reasons you're afraid and so his suggestion the author is to actually do this with another person so you say I'm afraid if I write a book no one will read it and then you do the person that is with you says thank you and that's all they're allowed to say. And then you keep going. I'm afraid if I write a book that it will suck. Then the, then the, and the person listening again says, thank you. And you keep going until you're done, that you run out of reasons. But you can also do this. I've done this just through writing down all the reasons I can think of. And so it's a good way to bring the fears to the surface. Because when we hide our fears or we suppress them, we give them more power and that keeps us in that place of analysis and keeps us out of taking action in accordance with what we desire and so it's the idea of acknowledging the fear and then taking action anyway so those are my two thoughts and I thought I had one more but I guess I'll think of it later because now my hand is frozen from holding the phone but would love to hear what you guys are working on what are some things that you want to complete before the end of 2017 so you feel a sense of closure for 2017 and are setting yourself up for a strong 2018. And then what are some things that, when you think about that, surface as far as fears? And then, third part, what are some actions you can take to move in accordance to your desires no matter what and, and in spite of your fears? All right, signing off. Have a lovely afternoon. Bye.